welcome back to another video I just want to thank you so much for 80k views of the Flash's big heroic moment <laughs> and I didn't expect it to blow up uh, as it did but anyways as I said thank you for 80k views on my Flash video and to celebrate I am going to rank every superhero suit in the DCEU so let's start off the ranking with Steve Trevor from Wonder Woman 1984 in 32nd place. I don't know if you would count him as a superhero, but I just put him in for shits and giggles. In the 31st place we have Colonel Rick Flagg from Suicide Squad 2016. You know, there isn't too much to say about this suit or uniform as I would call it. It's just basically a kind of a tactical gear uniform. And then we have Steve Trevor from The Woman, the first one. I actually quite like um, this, this outfit, um, but it's not really a, a superhero suit per se. That's why it's so low. Now we are going into the real superhero suits. You could say these are just honorable mentions. Besides Rick Flag, maybe because he is the leader of the Suicide Squad, so he technically is a superhero. Or <laughs> I don't know if he counts him as a superhero, but Batman vs Superman: Dawn of Justice, the Flash Nightmare Suit is ugly. It's hideous. I do not like it in any way, shape, or form. I don't know what Zack Snyder was thinking with this one, to be honest. But again, is isn't a nightmare version of? Uh, the DC EU, so you can technically get away with these ugly dystopian suits. I mean, it's it's just not good. But then again, they are running from evil Superman who wants to kill them. So another BVS superhero, it's Aquaman, and it's not really much of a suit as he is basically shirtless. <laughs> Um, I mean, I do. I don't hate this look, but there are better Aquaman looks out there. Then we have Volko from Zack Snyder's Justice League. Really, isn't much to say about this one either. I mean, we don't really see it up close that well, and I could only find a black and white picture of the actual suit. The best is basically just the Atlantean armor we are used to seeing. This may be a controversial one but we have Huntress from Birds of Prey and the fantabulous emancipation of one Harley Quinn. A tongue twister right there, a really long title so I'm just going to call it Birds of Prey. It's not the most beautiful or technical suit out there. I mean it's, it's, it's pretty basic. She doesn't look like anything from the comics which I prefer, or I would prefer. Again, it's, it's not a terrible, terrible suit. It's actually quite nice. I think most of the suits on here are quite nice, or they are nice. And this is, is no, no exception. The Shazam family! You know, I just grouped them all together. Besides Shazam himself, uh, Billy Batson. And because uh, Shazam is our main hero in the movie and his suit is just superior than the others. I still love their suits. They are quite nice and it, it was nice to, nice to see the Shazam family come together. So I wonder what's going to happen in Shazam 2 if we are going to see them again. Shazam from the Shazam movie. Now this, I like the suit and I don't like it. It's pretty weird because on the one hand comic book Acura 2AT 2AT other than not having a hoodie but what I don't like about the suit is that it's so bulky it's I feel like they made Zachary Levi way bigger than he actually is I mean the difference between this and the Superman suit is that the Superman suit, you know, it's like it has the body 
sculpture of Henry Cavill, but this one does not look anything like a real man's body, or it should be maybe a bodybuilder's body, but Zachary Levi is no bodybuilder. That's my only issue with the suit, is that it uses like a fake body to make the suit look way bigger than, or his muscles and his chest look way bigger than it actually is. Now here is a controversial one, it's Harley Quinn with her pink tank top and shorts from the Birds of Prey movie. It's controversial because, not like, not because I don't like the suit, but because is she a hero or is she a villain or is she an anti-hero because in the Birds of Prey movie she is clearly not the villain, but in Suicide Squad she is a villain. I just included her in here because she is the protagonist in Birds of Prey, but that, that doesn't mean that she is a hero. I mean, Joker was the protagonist of the Joker movie, doesn't make him a hero. But I, you know, when I first saw the suit, or outfit rather, I, I was thinking, what are they doing? This is not Harley Quinn, it's so ugly and it's, it's not only me. A lot of people said it, that it it was ugly, you know, but what can I say, it, it grew on me. I'm not a particularly big fan of the movie, but I think that this Harley Quinn outfit is, is pretty nice. Another outfit from the Harley Quinn Birds of Prey movie, I'm getting my words mixed up, it is the golden overalls that Harley Quinn wears in the movie. Yet again, I did think that this was going to be a good look. I mean, when you look at this, you don't see Harley Quinn. But, you know, strangely, she actually looks great in it. It might just be because it's Margot Robbie that it looks good, because she looks good and she can make everything look good. I just like the colors. They are vibrant, they are nice. Wonder Woman's training suit, if you would like to call it that, from Wonder Woman. It's, I like the, I like it, but it's it's basic. It's basic compared to the other Wonder Woman suits that are out there. There's not really much to say other than it does look good, but it also looks quite flat because it's all one solid color and. It's not the greatest, not the worst. Another Harley Quinn outfit, believe it or not. This is her final outfit in the Birds of Prey movie. It's basically the same as the pink tank top and the shorts, other than she's now deciding to uh, wear a blouse over that says Harley Quinn or Quinn, I can't remember. Now this one, I, I like this one. I always like this one. Not only because they have a skin in Fortnite um, that I used to wear. <laughs> As I said, Margot Robbie makes everything look good, and she makes she rocks this outfit so good. It's actually unbelievable. Now let's get away from Birds of Prey and let's go to another movie, Justice League or Zack Snyder's Justice League. So Zack Snyder's cyborg suit. I I wasn't the biggest fan of this suit, to be honest, I mean, I thought that he was too uh, cyborg-y, or had too many um, what, robotic parts, you know, usually some, usually, um, some cyborgs or cyborg um, versions have um, a little bit more flesh. Um, but yeah, it's 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 been growing on me. Well, wow, it's been growing on me as growing on me as a. I I like it. Um, Ray Fisher just makes the suit look great. Okay, he makes the suit look great. I think if if it was any other actor, and it's weird, then I don't know how it would look. But Ray Fisher's performance just elevates just elevates how the suit looks 
and in Zack Snyder's Justice League, he was he was phenomenal. He he was truly the heart of the movie, as Zack Snyder said. Another Justice League suit, we have Ezra Miller as the Flash. Now this suit, you know, it sparked a lot of controversy because people were saying it was ugly because it look, just looked like it was plate stitched, stitched together. But it, makes, it actually makes sense when Barry Allen himself made the suit. He didn't outsource it from maybe from Batman or you know sometimes from the Speed Force. Um, it's more technical the suit than any other. No flash suits we have seen, and I I like it. I like it. I I don't think it looks. It's not. It's not amazing. It's not what you know. I envision when Flash gets his own movie. Yeah, maybe he will wear this one. But you know, when he's the peak Flash, you know, I I can't see him wear a suit like this. This is rookie Barry Allen suit, homemade, and I like it. Back to One Wonder Woman 84, we have. The golden armor suit, which I have only seen pictures of because I haven't seen the movie as I said. It, it, it looks great. I have three different pictures to show you. I have one with a helmet and no wings. I have one with a helmet and wings. I have one with no wings and no helmet. And it's, it's, it's gold. What can I say? It's gold. It's phenomenal when they release the promo pictures or posters from Wonder Woman 84 it was just it was crazy how good the posters were and how good the suit looked it was absolutely spectacular and it's definitely up there with, with one of the best and now unfortunately we have uh, or I say unfortunately but we have Superman from Zack Snyder's Justice League, um, the black suit version. So I don't know if this is cheating because this is just um, the Man of Steel suit, but they color graded it to be black because I believe Warner Brothers denied Zack Snyder to make a or turned him down when he asked for a new superman suit that was black um, so this is just color graded but I don't know if he's cheating or not but I, technically it isn't because it's, it is a different looking suit it, it looks nothing like um, the man of steel suit you know the colors it's, it's a huge difference 